A lot of companies are interested in offering great service, but not all of them succeed at offering the kind of customer experience of online retailer Zappos.com. I'm here in Las Vegas, Nevada to speak to their tech team about delivering happiness to customers and employees alike and to deliver you some advice on getting the best job ever. All right, you ready for a tour? Absolutely. All right, right this way. Yeah, it looks like a very fun office. Yes, it's very fun. If you want to ring the bell. This is our awesome recruiting team. Every team has a cool way of greeting people. This is our tech teams. This is just a little part. Usually there's Nerf Wars. Who should I shoot it at? Ed. Is that Ed? Ed. Oh, that has got a powerful shot no, to it, jeez. It. For the like two people out there in the world who don't know what Zappos is, can you give us the rundown? We're uh, an online retailer that started out in the shoe business, and uh, now we sell apparel, handbags, accessories. What makes it run, I'd say, Fundamentally, it's our customer service DNA. Every department here is focused on the customer, and that's what keeps us going. How the heck do you do it so fast? Mm -hmm. how, how, does, how do my shoes show up the next morning if I order before like 1 p.m.? Really, it has to do with the integration of our technology. Our website is very closely linked with our fulfillment center. As items come in, they immediately get queued up in the warehouse. They can be in a box after you order as quickly as 15 or 20 minutes and on your way to you the next day. Pretty much everything that developers think about here is somehow focused on the efficiency of the business, which eventually helps our customer. We don't think of ideas coming from a small set of people, the executive team. It's a combination of top-down and bottoms-up sort of decision-making. We think of ideas coming from everywhere. We have a regular hackathon every quarter where a team of developers given two days to work on whatever feature they'd like to see. And then the rest of the company votes on those features. And the one that wins is taken live. A large number of features that are on the website now have come out of that hackathon. The developers really enjoy being able to build something very quickly and see it live almost immediately. How tuned into the whole customer service side of things does your tech team need to be? We actually need to be very, very tuned in. We treat every customer complaint as an opportunity to fix something. What would happen in a traditional company is, you know, customer service sends all their, you know, issues over to technology, and technology would be like, well, that happens to, you know, one out of one out of 200 customers, so let's not, let's not bother with it. But if you've actually been on the phone and firsthand experienced a problem, and you have the power to go fix it, you'll go fix it, even if it's on your own time. So I think this, this obsessive customer centricity makes our technology quality uh, pretty amazing. What does a developer or programmer need to know about customer service? One of the interesting things about Zappos, and I think it's a really good policy, is no matter what your position is, you the first thing you do is you do a month of customer service training. So you're on the phones. Sometimes somebody will say, man, I was trying to get to this thing and it broke. And, like, and you go, oh my god, we can fix that. Because for every person that calls in that complains that they couldn't get to that problem, 20 more probably left your site because it was broken and they didn't call you. So as a developer, you can listen for that stuff and you can and respond and say we need to get this fixed because this is this is a big customer impacting problem. What is in your tech stack currently? We have uh, two core languages. We use Perl and Java. Perl being a lot of the back office and front office technologies. Java being the core website. For development, I primarily use um, you know, like Vim or you know shells and TextMate. Uh, we primarily use Git for our open source control. A lot of our developers are pretty Mac friendly because of its integration with our Linux servers that we run on. What advice would you give to someone looking to get into this field? Well, I started out as a developer, and you know, I started out building sort of hardcore applications. What helped me personally kind of grow in my career was look beyond development into all the other areas that need to be available and working correctly for your, for your applications to work. So for example, does the infrastructure stay up and, and running? Uh, is my, does my application stay up and running you know, in terms of profiling and load testing the application? In some companies, developers expect someone else to do the, the load testing for them or someone else to do the profiling for them. But I think the more they understand, the more responsibilities they're bound to get because if you're a developer who understands what QA's life looks like and how to load test and profile the application, or you know how to instrument your code and monitor it and, and set alerts for it, your value is just gonna go up because people like developers who know how to support their applications from the time they write it to the time it operates and scales to 50X. 
If you're going to work for a company that cares about customer service as much as Zappos does, it's all about making a better, faster, and more enjoyable experience for the end user. Do that and make sure your code integrates well with other features and you'll be an asset anywhere. There are tons of opportunities for technologists in online retail as well as other jobs over at Dice.com. I'm Veronica Belmont, delivering you happiness on Best Job Ever. Hey everyone, remember that our Best Interview Ever contest isn't over yet. Each week, head over to dice.com slash contest, answer one of our interview questions, and you could win a Connect. And tech pros share those answers. The most popular answer each week wins.